It finally out, guys. Now you can use two evolutions if you're King Tower level 15 in Clash Royale. So this video is about showing guys the top three best decks for double evolution in Clash Royale. Deck number one is each giant with the evolution bomb and evolution knight in that. In case you guys don't have one of these evolutions, use the evolution archers instead or evolution skeletons. But this deck is absolutely incredible. I just felt like the giant was already in a really good spot. The bomber works really, really well in there. There are some players already trying out bomber, but they kind of prefer the bowler over there. But I feel like with the recent change, maybe the good alt. Um, Evolution Bomber gets the spot there, and this guy, Call the Legend, is actually a deck which I also thought about showcasing. You might know later if I actually showcase this, but it's a really, really, really good deck. So, let's see. Is he gonna... Okay, I'm just gonna go for my Tornado there. So, I'm also gonna go for my Knight there. Maybe not the best Knight of all time, but I still think overall it's fine because we do get his Tower. I think almost at least. Depends how good, like, it's crazy, dude. It's really crazy how fast people get the Evolution Mama, right? Like, even Labo decks, where you personally feel like, okay, it's a bit more of an expensive deck. People are able to get the good old Evolution Mama so, so far. It's incredible. Evolution Mama collapsed Peaches. By the way, yesterday's video, I showed you guys the best Evolution Mama deck. So, if you're just interested to see that, make sure to check out yesterday's video. So, we just go for Electric Giant here. I feel like our situation is still not bad. It could have been better, but it could have been also worse. So I'm just going to go for a Baron Bell here. Maybe we're able to predict something. Okay, he goes in for minions, which is fine. We still get two bomber shots, I guess. And this is a free tornado. Look at this tornado, dude, right? Like, uh, this tornado vault. This tornado, dude. This tornado vault is absolutely incredible. In case he goes now in for his balloon, I'm just going to go in for my cannon. And then I'm just going to go LP on top of the balloon. And we should do... He should do wonders. I'm just going to go for my cannon there. It's gonna pull. It's like always. It's always looking scary, right? Okay, what the heck is my little prince doing? Okay, my little prince is dumb, so it's still forced to go lightning there. It's still okay, I would say. I think we had no shot, please. Thank you very much. Okay, so, man, this matchup is really good. He doesn't have anything against Electro Giant, so we can just basically spam it. Important tip, guys. I see a ton of people doing it wrong in this Electro Giant matchup. Use the NATO offensively. You need to use it offensively, otherwise, you're not gonna break through the infernal ring. So, I'm just gonna Electro Giant here using my bomber. And now I'm also going to go for my Evolution Knight, I guess. I'm just going to go for this load. This is kind of problem. Means getting really annoying there. I'm just going to go for this there. Okay, fine. I'm just going to go for Electric Giant here in the pocket. Why not? Boma! Evolution Mama, do your job, sir! Okay, honestly, not the best Evolution Mama of all time, but it's fine. Okay, he's mostly going to get Tower. I'm gonna go for my tornado there. Need to go defensive Electro Giant just to pull up everything. Good Electro Giant. Really good Electro Giant. What an Electro Giant, dude. That was really good. I don't know, like, we both have struggled defending. This is a really weird game. We both can't really defend each other's pushes. So, this is kind of why we are struggling. But I'm just gonna go for an Electro. He doesn't have his. Electro Dragon and Cycle now. So what is he gonna do? He needs to go minions. I mean Inferno Dragon. Does he have Inferno Dragon back in Cycle? It would be his third Inferno Dragon, but I can just go basically lightning there. And now I'm just gonna go for my bomber at the bridge. Come on, bomber! Bomber do something! Come on, bomber! Bomber on the tower! One shot! I'm just gonna go for my knight here. Yeah, because it was pretty obvious that he goes in. Mm. Cannon. Okay, it's fine. I can just go for a NATO in a really good timing. So I need to be careful. He might snowball this. Okay, he's gonna go lava now. How do we win this now? Do I go base race? I might just go for a Electro Giant Bridge. Electro Giant base race versus Lava Hound. Come on, Electro Giant. Move your Peach. Move your Peach. Okay, I'm just gonna go Knight here. Now he doesn't have Balloon. In case he goes in Balloon. Oh, I can just cycle. It's gonna redirect, right? It's gonna redirect. What a 100 EQ Bomber Lightning down JJ's Red Blade. It was close. We both can't defend our pushes. I think at the start, I did play really poorly. My first nade was actually awkward. But yeah, Electro Giant will be a deck which you can, of course, play in the new class for a matter. Deck number two I want to show you guys is this absolutely incredible minor control deck. Mohammed finished number two, three, four, five. Five and six in the entire world of using this deck. It's absolutely incredible. Of course, Evolution Icebird isn't as powerful as other evolutions, but he fits really well in this deck. And I guess I don't need to tell you how broken Minor Control is. Kuni it's by far like the best archer type in the whole game. So yeah, of course, the Evolution Icebird. I was thinking maybe you can use bats instead. Um, but uh, Icebird itself, it's already really good. So just like giving him a small, I would say like a small buff in some decent moments in some situations. I think this is really really good. So. 
So, yeah, overall, Ice Pit Evolution sucks, but I feel like in this deck, I still prefer it over Bats, at example. So, bro, call the legend. It's time to relax. It's not like you can play just Lava on at the bridge and just do everything. It's, it's an IG, sir. It works different. So, of course, if you guys have Cannoneer, you can use Cannoneer in this type of variation. But I'm actually a poor guy. I don't have it. No, I'm, I do have it, but I'm just... I know I'm just a guy who's not a best pay to win. Oh, I want to show also free to play versions. This is kind of what I want to say. So sometimes it's hard to explain what I'm actually thinking. This is, might be just like the German thing because Germans are German. So I'm just gonna go mine a day on top of the tower. Let's get some decent amount of chip maybe. He uses bomber, so most likely bomber evolution, skeleton evolution, or RG evolution. So he has like some spots. I'm curious to see if like RG maybe gets a comeback with the double evolution. So I'm just going for my ice sprint here. And of course, evolution ice sprint in this type of situation do does really well. It does really well. Look at this, guys. It's actually really, really powerful. I can just go for a lock here because the bomber will also get frozen. And in this type of situation, you cannot complain. Ice sprint evolution is decent. It's decent because the spirit evolution or like the ice sprint itself is a good card. If the ice sprint itself wouldn't be a good card, I would never use it. But it's currently, I think, one of the most broken cards in the entire game. So I'm just going to go for my... No, no, no. Is it in tower range? Bro, I'm so bad! Oh, it's fine, it's on tower. Okay, he just goes this. I'm just gonna go for my goblins. There. Is, he, is he gonna go for a log? He goes in bomber. Okay, you need to go Tesla. I'm always scared of the I'm always scared of the evolution bomber, dude. By the way, guys, you guys like you guys now like how weird it is with the um Tesla now being Bro, I got chipped! <laughs> now, how weird is it now with the Tesla interaction being staying on the ground but still like the troop is targeting him? I think it's a bit weird. So let's go for my miner there, really good mine. I'm also gonna take the poison. This is how you play miner poison control. Dude, I just feel like this deck will be even better. I'm just gonna go for my uh, little prince. I don't know why Cold actually plays the skeletons. To be fair, skeletons evolution might be a, or like our top three evolution entire game. So he's thinking that, but maybe I would always say like um, also different decks like mortar miner. Mortar evolution is like the key one. You always want to use the evolution on the win condition. Okay, miner. Poison, come on. Oh. No! Larry! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We do oh, the damage, dude. Oh, you guys hate minor poison. Every time I play a minor poison, people hate me. But they will be... Oh, dude, I, I was forgetting that. It look, still looks so weird. I will do a minor poison guide this season. I will promise you. If I don't do a minor poison guide this season, I'm going to retire. It might come tomorrow. It might not come tomorrow, but it will come in a few days. I promise you. I promise you. Are you guys believing me? Maybe you don't. I'm just going to go Ice Bird there. Stop this, please. Okay, so I want to use the ability on opposite lane because I know he's gonna overcommit a lot. Maybe the lock wasn't the best of all time, but it's fine. I'm just gonna go ice bit here. What is what is call gonna do now? I'm just gonna go miner here. Okay, miner, let's go, miner chip damage. Oh, it's like call man! He got so much damage on the right hand side. He got so much damage on the right hand side. So people ask me why are you not playing this in ladder? Because I was playing it in ladder. But I can tell you guys, the first couple of games, dude, they are not really that good. So I'm just going to go for my Ice Bird here. Um, so look at this. Evolution Ice Bird is going to freeze that completely so the RG doesn't get a shot. I'm just going to go for my Miner there. That's like a, that's an awesome poison, dude. That's an awesome poison. Look at the damage we're going to get. Look at the damage we're going to get. Ability is coming down, little prince on tower. Let's go. By the way, is it allowed to do a dab in my English videos? Because if I'm doing it in my German videos, people are complaining. So I'm just going to do a dab. Is it fine? I guess Ian will be a really happy guy if he sees my third deck. It's absolutely incredible. Hawk Fire Quake Evolution Cycle. It's so busted. In case you guys don't have the Evolution Knight um, or Evolution Cracker. And you guys have the Evolution Skeletons. Use them instead. You could also, of course, use the Evolution Ice Bird. But this deck is busted. We are going to go in here. Where's this called? And you're scaring me. Okay, good luck to him, sir. Say good luck back. Bro, we are friends. We are friends. So, what the man? Say good luck back, dude. I thought you were a real one. Okay, I'm just gonna ice put there. Ice put is always good in this type of situation. So, never, no way you're playing a, you're playing. What is he playing? Graveyard? Oh no way he's playing Royal Recruits. But what, what is the second evolution in Royal Recruits for him? I'm not sure. I'm honestly not really sure. What is the second evolution? So he got recruits, of course, but what is the second one? Or am I just dumb? I might be just a dumb guy. Maybe he has bomber. Bomber, okay, bomber evolution. So he goes in fireball. Hawk Raider still gets two shots, most likely. Come on, Hawk! Man, if I would have been Ian, it would have been like three shots, dude. It's so dumb. Okay. Ice Bird in the middle. 
Okay, okay, okay. So let's see, let's see, let's see. By the way, how did you guys find it so far? Do you guys? Okay, I was scared of one shot. You guys like that double evolution thing? I even like have it unlocked. Do you guys have double evolution unlocked? Are you King Tower level 15? That would be something I would love to know. I'm just gonna go for my knight. I'm also gonna go goblins because he's mostly just gonna block with cute. So I'm just gonna close cage. So I'm just gonna go hog rider there. He really overcommits there, but I'm also overcommitting. So it's fine. I'm just gonna go for my ice bird there. So the good thing is for us that I'm completely taking a ton of damage. I don't really think. Do we get the damage advantage at least? Yes! Okay, King to activation. King to activation important. You need to consider that always. Activating King Tower with this deck is absolutely massive, right? We got such a good defense. Three towers activation is absolutely really, really nice. With the Tesla in the middle and just spam. Go. Okay. I'm just gonna go EQ cycle there. Why not? Man, evolution night. Tashra, please give more people evolutions. And also at the same time, please nerf evolutions. I'm just gonna go for my ice bird there. Really, really good ice bird, dude. And now we can just pressure him because he's gonna have problems. Can I just go night there? Protect the evolution cracker. I feel like evolution cracker is a really good card. The only reason you don't see a ton of evolution crackers currently top ladder now and mid ladder is one of the most used cards is that evolution uh, knight was a card which you always prefer to play. But in a recent change with the double evolution, I feel like this will be a card which a ton of people are gonna play. So in case you have evolution cracker, in case you guys have it, uh, hate it. You will see it way more on the arena. I apologize already to you guys. So I'm just gonna go for my earthquake here. Earthquake is coming down. He goes in for this. I'm just gonna go take the lock. He goes in for arrows. Okay, he needs to go for his hoggies now. So I'm just gonna go free Tesla there. Goblins. Okay. I'm kind of scared there because um, the flying machine might be a bit annoying. That shouldn't be. That should. It's not tower, right? It's not okay. It's, it's all good. It's all good. It's a bit closer than I wanted to be, but to be fair, you also had some good counters. Can I just go for my uh or oh, what Nick you dude? What Nick you are quite is gonna go? Okay, I feel bad. GG's. It's over. It's over. It's oh what? It's not a tower? Hello? No, 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 please. Let's go. GG's well played. These are the top three best decks to use in Clash Royale after the new update. Make sure to use the stacks. Let me know how they work in the comment section. If you tilt an arena down, which is even possible, please hate me. I'm absolutely ready for that.